to ClearCast. My name is Shauna. And I'm Carlos. So today's episode, we're going to talk about the amazing recap of Ultra Weekend, um, some big insomniac news, and you know, Dead Mouse news, of course. Also, LED has a big announcement about Coachella goers, so stay tuned for that. And SFX stocks get a little ghetto. Cause it's hot out here for a pimp. <laughs> live stream for Ultra. I was really bummed I worked all weekend, but you watched it. Yeah, no, I purposely took off work so I could watch it, and <laughs> it was the best choice ever. I was just ready to go to the rave, honestly. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was good. It was good to see everyone come together for the first major festival of the season, so yeah. it was a lot of fun. You feel like you were there? No, I definitely felt like I was at home, but <laughs> I'm going to be the next year. But he, yeah. he's determined to go next year. Yes. So on the topic of Ultra, Dead Mouse trolls the entire Ultra Music Festival and basically anyone with the internet access. He tweeted all about, you know, his usual kind of like smart ass tweet, how he was going to replace Avicii uh, closing up one of the days. And he tweets about animals totally making fun of Martin Garrix. <laughs> Tiesto calls him out and pretty much says that he's being a sarcastic dick about it because of Avicii's situation, which is understandable. But then Denmas responds with, Are you about to give me shit for playing levels? Christ, if I had a nickel for everyone who played levels, I'd buy a $15 million house. Reference to Avicii's new mansion yeah. in Beverly Hills. So. Exactly. So, <laughs> but we also um, found out on April Fool's that could have been hacked. Yeah, so on April Fool's Day, Dead Mouse's accounts all got hacked by the hacker group Anonymous. They're very famous for hacking famous web pages and just causing causing trouble, Man. basically. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the Anonymous crew uh, hacked into his accounts and made all his followers down to one on Twitter. So that should be pretty hacked. Common. Hacked, yeah, though. He hacked. was probably in on it. Yeah, I mean, Let's be real yeah. here. Knowing Dead Mouse, <laughs> he's probably not on the joke, and I'm sure there's a big April Fool's joke in everyone. He's probably he's, laughing at all of us. Yeah. But that's why he's awesome. Just kicking it with anonymous. He's a prankster. <laughs> so the LA Coliseum was ordered to pay Insomniac $400,000 in legal fees. A huge paycheck for them. If you guys remember in 2011, um, the Coliseum sued Insomniac for allegations of bribery schemes. But anyway, long story short, the, you know, it's closed. The three-year case is finally over. And... I have a quote here from Insomniac's attorney. We are very pleased that the court awarded Insomniac the full amount of its attorney fees. This is just further confirmation of what we have maintained from day one. This lawsuit was ill-conceived, politically motivated, and publicly driven. Neither Insomniac or Mr. Rotella did anything wrong, and this lawsuit should have never happened in the first place. Unquote. That's big news for them. Good, good for Pascal and Insomniac. That's yeah. finally a weight off their shoulders. Uh, but yeah, let's get more into some Insomniac news and EDC specifically. <laughs> so Pascal Rotella is talking about having a live stream for this year's EDC. Uh, as you guys know, some of the biggest major festivals in the world have live streams. We just experienced Ultra, which is awesome. Tomorrowland has a has a live stream, but EDC is held out to now yeah. so he's saying that he kind of might might want to have one i don't know what do you think about him um having well he says he he might he feels like he's maybe too old school or um, yeah. but i don't know you know which he he kind of is, yeah, but, he is pretty old school, yeah, <laughs> but um i think i think it's great that he's gonna you know he's thinking about doing a poll so that just shows he cares about what we feel what we want i personally think that everybody's gonna vote yes for the live stream I mean, I mean, me, me being an EDC like OG, I I would like to not have a stream, but you know. But you watched Ultra from the yeah, stream. yeah. It's definitely a, a huge benefit for the scene and everyone else that gets to enjoy the festival. So yeah. I can't really be selfish, but in my opinion, I wish it would just stay here because you really have to be an EDC to experience EDC. Yeah. It's something different. Of course, yeah. If the ideal situation would be to actually be there, but you know, for those people that not, are not as fortunate to go, we live here. It you know, we're really lucky. Yeah, exactly. So we'll see. We'll keep you updated on that. 
<laughs> so for all you EDC veterans, you know about the clusterfuck of pretty much all traffic to and from the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Cabs, cars, buses, Shuttles, whatever. But anyway, Insomniac asked the city to provide additional cabs for transportation for rivers for EDC. Um, if that goes through, you're going to have up to 192 extra cabs. But, I mean, realistically, cabs cost a lot of money. And yeah. they, I'm not trying to get broke. Yeah, you know they suck. I mean? Basically, a cab <laughs> ride from, from your hotel to the festival and back will cost you at least $200 a day. Yeah, fun stuff like Either that. drive yourself or you take a shuttle, that's the way to go for EDC, you need shuttles. Uh, our local friends, our local Vegas friends, Unity Travel are offering shuttle passes for only $54. So that's half the price of Insomniac shuttles. So. I've definitely used that, that shuttle before. It's great, you know, you can just like mingle with other people on the shuttle beforehand and you just get really excited. You're with a bunch of other ravers going to EDC together, so. So check out their option, liveinunity.net, and yeah, go with it. So finally, Under the Electric Sky is going to premiere to the masses. We all know it premiered at Sundance Music Festival and they got a great response. But finally, we're going to get to see it in May. So it's going to be near, at a theater near you. We really wanted to create a movie about what it's like to be at a festival like EDC um, and specifically what it's like to be at EDC, I guess. So that was always the intention was to tell the story from the fans' point of view um, in terms of how we found them. Yeah, I mean, and also, I mean, I think you that was something that Dan and I were interested in, but it's also, you know, Pasquale's philosophy about the headliners, which obviously you can speak more to, but it was, it, it all sort of came into, we all came into sync about what, how, what the perspective of the story should be. Yeah, when we, when we first met, it was, um, you know, it was the perfect synergy. You know, the way, you know, we, we, it wasn't hard to make that decision because it's the way we produce our events and how the culture has flourished. You know, it's, it's very different than rock and roll and it's very different than hip hop where, you know, the experience is really important and the um, most important element to that experience come together. So the Lollapalooza lineup just got released. It's gonna be August 1st through 3rd at Grand Park, Chicago. And it's, you know, there's a bunch of EDM headliners, just name a few, Above and Beyond, Zed, Sebastian Grosso, Calvin Harris, Skrillex, Corolla, and more. And also, of course, lots of diversity. We have Kings of Leon, Outcast, the 1975, love that song with Ch chocolate, and Eminem, your favorite rapper. Yeah, Eminem, the hip hop god. <laughs> We're gonna switch the show to rap. Just kidding. Um, anyway, yeah, so that should be cool. We'll keep you posted on that. So on to more festival raging. Yes. Uh, <laughs> tickets for Audio on the Bay are now available. Uh, the festival is going on May, May 23rd through the 25th. So tickets are really cheap, $50 for a one day pass or just $120 for a three day pass. So check that out. That's, That's the old school Insomniac event from SoCal, oh yeah. Audiotistic. So. Used to be Audiotistic. For those of you that are going to Coachella and you're Woo. thirsty for even more EDM. <clears throat> All right, let me, get, let me get some of this EDM thirst. <laughs> so <it's> EDM thirst. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> just really parched. More dance music. So, <laughs> anyway. Coachella announces, uh, LED announces day parties for Coachella. Coachella at the Hard Rock Hotel in Palm Springs. So, weekend one, April 10th through the 13th, it's going to be Dirty South, A Track, Disclosure, Ooh, and David Gibbon. That's dope. Yeah. That's a great lineup. And then weekend two, April 17th through the 20th, Skrillex, Martin Garrix, Showtech, and Tiesto. Wow. That, so, that's a huge bookie for weekend two. Good for LED yeah. and those day parties at Coachella. I would probably just go to the day party, honestly. That sounds yeah. amazing. So. I'll be at Coachella, so we'll see if I can like hop around and do it all. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to get as weird as the girl from the Ultra live stream, you gotta rock this shirt to the next festival. <laughs> Pretty much self-explanatory. You know the girl. <laughs> Let's get weird. What talking about. And this is the electric daisy tank. We have a bunch of new tanks from Into the AM on Raverspike.com, so go check it out. Perfect for Coachella. Don't hate on hipsters. I'm going to rock this to Coachella with no shoes on, so we're going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Plurcast. Get weird with us every Thursday. Every Thursday, get weird. <laughs> Woo! But, you know, we're just trying to create a family here. We're here for you guys. Um, tell more friends about us. We want this to grow. We want it to get big. So we're here to spread the plur. For sure. And, and to end today's episode, we're going to leave you with a clip of Robert Silliman, he's the founder of SFX. This is a, a him getting off his jet, his private jet at Miami Music Conference. And because of this video that leaked on on Instagram, the company stock went down 20%. That's a huge loss for any company. So that's crazy. 
Uh, but just check it out. It's really funny, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for coming, guys. Get weird. Woo!